Hello and welcome to Altnix. So this is a very short demo on how we are able to monitor the NFB infra structure with Xenos. So there are multiple slides uh, which I will not be covering uh, in the interest of time. Uh, what we are focusing on is basically the virtualization layer which we want to monitor in this implementation. <clears throat> we are not going to do some other applications uh, like the VNF application monitoring right now. And also we'll include the BIM, the virtual infra manager. Now typically <clears throat> the entire NFV architecture is built on ROHSP, which is Red Hat OpenStack platform. It's a combination of Red Hat uh, Linux OS and the OpenStack virtual platform. Now within OpenStack you will see multiple services. For example, you'll see Nova, which is a virtual compute server, you'll see Neutron, which is virtual networking, Cinder for block storage. And there are many more services which are available and this is listed in the OpenStack uh, website. So we will not cover in detail what that looks like. But what we have done for this particular demo is set up monitoring with Xenos. We have completed a simple RHSP lab setup. We will have uh, maybe three instances and a virtual network and an external router. So this is what we are going to try and monitor. <clears throat> so let me show how this is working. The first part there is to see how the setup has been done inside of OpenStack. So here you see there are three instances. This is part of the setup in the lab. <coughs> you also see there are IP addresses. And uh, this is on the compute side or the server side. For the network topology, we have basically two networks. One is an internal network, the other one is the external network. So I'm going to show that topology very quickly. So you can see there are two networks. So that's the one it's two series and then the one on two series, external and internal. If I look at the graph view, this shows how the network topology is. So there is an external gateway and then there's an internal VLAN, which has three instances or three servers which we want to monitor. This is pretty much what we want to monitor inside of Xenos. So in Xenos, what we've done is we have set up the monitoring. And the first place to start would be to look at the dashboard. Now the dashboard shows a summary of all the problems and the events and there's a list of severity and so on. So this is the usually the launch page. Now <clears throat> to show where we are looking at the infra, if you look at the menu, there's a menu called infra. So let's look at that menu and see what is infra underlying all this. For this lab, we have actually set up multiple devices physical devices as well as virtual devices. There are servers which are separate physical servers outside of OpenStack as well for testing purposes. The point of interest is going to be OpenStack. So let's click on OpenStack and you see there is a listing of one OpenStack instance which is in the lab. So let me click on that. <clears throat> when I open the instance you see this is a listing. So it gives me the name of the name, collection, priority. And then on the left hand side, you see what is called as components. Now, components are basically services or parts of the OpenStack which are running on your virtual layer. So, for example, let me click on instances. So, if you click on instances, it is showing me a list of three instances. Now, three, these three instances are basically the servers which we have created in our OpenStack control panel. So, if I go to the instances, you will see there are three instances and these three are matching what is in OpenStack. So in this uh, integration automatically using the APIs from RHSP, Xenos has automatically picked up or discovered the names of all the uh, instances that are running on OpenStack. Then there are ways to look at the help of each and every service. So Nova services, this is whether the computer is running properly. So if I click on compute, this is what is a server part, which is the compute part. It's saying if the compute servers are running fine, and at the bottom you see some graphs which shows the CPU utilization, which shows memory usage. These are useful metrics to monitor for the uh, virtual in instances. Then you'll also see uh, the networking site. So if I click on network, it will show me the two network, which is external internal network. It also shows a list of ports which are used by the network topology. 
then it shows whether your network is working correctly. So these are all the agents which are part of the network design. And the health of this uh, agent shows the health of your network, whether it is working correctly. And there are some graphs matching that as well. <clears throat> then there are storage. Sender is just block storage, which is running. So it gives me information about that and also some graphs around that. Then it says whether the sender services are running properly. So if these services are running properly, only then your storage is going to work, otherwise your storage is going to fail. So it gives you help of the service also. You can see on the left hand side there are multiple components uh, which are part of your uh, OpenStack infra. So you have regions, you have routers, subnets, you have NIC, the virtual NICs, you have tenants, volumes. And if, if there are more elements coming from the OpenStack platform, that can be added here by additional custom scripting. So based on what you are deploying here on OpenStack, that can be monitored here. But what we are showing here is the basic, basic servers and you know, CPU utilization stuff like that. There's also a menu called Graph. So if you click on that, you will see kind of a summary of the entire uh, infra virtualization layer. So the then the virtual infra manager health strategy is being shown here. You know, what's happening to the different, uh, what's happening to the images, what's happening to volumes, what are all the virtual infra elements you have, and what is the health and status of all of that. So this is also very useful to have. Okay, so this is basically showing all that is working with the uh, MFV infra based on uh, OpenStack and RHSP. The events column gives you events, issues, and problems that are relevant to only the OpenStack layer. So this is something you can use in the marketing. Okay, so this is already working. You're saying there's a problem and a warning. You can also look at uh, uh, reports. So there's a column for reports. Reports right now, what we are showing is basic default reports. These are not custom reports, but essentially there are sections for reports. So I'm going to open the custom reports. There's a place called availability. This shows uptime and availability. So right now it is showing 100% uptime for OpenStack and other servers. And there are a few servers which have been turned on. That's why this is not 100%, but it's more like 5-6%. It's an example of a report. If there are additional reports which are going to be customized, then you can do the custom reports and that will show up here. So there are a bunch of reports which are already available. So the report based on device types and inventory, map addresses. There are reports based on events and uh, mapping of events. There are some graph based reports as well. So all of this can be configured additionally and customized if required. So Essentially, in a nutshell, this is how we have set up the monitoring for NFPI using Xenos. And we are able to show you how RHSP is being monitored and the elements from RHSP are showing up inside Xenos. We are getting graphs, we are getting alerts, we are getting the events, and also we are getting the reports, which are standard reports. So, thank you for the time. We end up with them.